Hey there guys! So the last time I showed you how to do some basic scraping here in Task Magic, but today I wanted to show you the powers of variables. So we have two sheets, one of them has the variables stored, and the other one is where we're going to be exporting all of the data. Okay, so let's start capturing these steps. Let's wait for the countdown to finish, and let's type down yellowpages.com. And then here, let's select one vertical. Let's choose roofing. Los Angeles is okay. And once we are inside of the pages, we see that we have ads. We do not want to choose any ads at all. We just want to choose the regular businesses that show up here. So let's go ahead and select the first business that is not an ad. And let's scrape list. Click on name one. Click on name two. Select text. Click on name one again name two again, and in this case, we're going to be choosing URL. Okay, I'll explain in a bit what that does. Uh, let's choose phone numbers. Let's go ahead and choose the address. Let's choose the city. And let's go ahead and that's, that's all the information we need. Okay, so let's go back to the Yellow Pages homepage. Let's click on this box because we're going to be looping through it. And then let's stop the recording. Okay, once we've stopped the recording, let's go ahead and set up a trigger here, and we're going to loop through data, okay? It's important that if you do not have your Google account connected to TaskMagic, we share all of the sheets to automations at taskmagic.com, and if you want the link of the Google Sheet, you just click on share, and here is the link on the bottom, all right? So let's go ahead and set up the data. Because I already have my Google account connected, I can select scrape yellow pages variables, and choose sheet one, a vertical, that looks good. And we're gonna start on row two because row two is where the data is stored. Row one is the header, and we only have four rows, so we are gonna go ahead and choose four. If you have seven rows, you could go ahead and write down seven, but in this case, we only have one. And let's select the Google Sheet where we're gonna be exporting the data, which is in this case, scrape yellow pages, okay? All of that looks good. Let's see where we're going to be looping through. Uh, step 11 has where are, what are you looking for, sorry. The first one has what are you looking for. So let's loop through step 2, through step 11. And as you can see here, we have two roofings. We can erase one of them. And we can click here to update the loop count, okay? It is very important we do that if we erase a step. So in here, we're going to be choosing the variable. Oh, it's not showing up. Let's hard refresh the page. Go ahead and click in here. And now it's showing up. Erase roofing and let's change it for at vertical. Okay, that is all we need for this process. Let's go ahead and play steps and let's go ahead and see how it works. As you could see, it selected roofing already. Now it's looking for HVAC. Now it is looking for plumbing. And last but not least, it is looking for lawn care. And if I'm not mistaken, that is all of the variables we've had. As you see here, it says run successfully. And let's go ahead and see the moment of truth. And here you go. As you could see, we have all of the roofing, all of the, where would here's the HVAC. Where would the plumbing be? Here you go. And last but not least, as you can see, we have the lawn care. 
So when I said that there are differences between text and URL, on the left you could see where the text the simple text is and on the right you could see where the URL is. So if you click on text it will just scrape the text name and if you click on URL it will actually scrape the URL of the page. It scraped over 121 businesses in less than a minute. And that is all we need for this variable step to work. Okay? Thank you so much guys for your time. Have an amazing day.